The man acquitted on murder charges earlier this week is still headed to prison tonight, probably for a lot longer than he expected. Jermaine Bunn was back in court this morning. Although jurors determined Tuesday he did not murder Michael Pete in April of last year, they did convict him on weapons and tampering with evidence charges. Prosecutors asked Judge John Durkin for the maximum sentence, but Bunn, who has been acting as his own attorney, argued he shouldn't get it. I feel sorry for this family going through the things. I, my deepest condolence out to them, but I'm not, I'm not guilty for, for this, and I don't want to be spending the rest of my life behind bars for something I ain't really do. Prosecutors say Bunn has a history of convictions for violence. He had just finished a seven-year sentence for felonious assault two days before the murder last year and was on parole at the time. Because of that, Judge Durkin sentenced Bunn to the maximum of six years on his conviction from this week, plus an additional three years for violating parole. Bond was set at $100,000 today for a camel man accused of abusing a child. 20-year-old Corinthians White pleaded not guilty to child endangering charges in court today. White is accused of hurting a girl who suffered multiple broken bones. She was treated at the hospital on August 15th. As a condition of the bond, White was ordered to have no contact with the child.